Evening everybody. If you hear a lot of booping in the background, then it's because my Facebook's on my laptop and people won't stop sending messages. Because we're doing one of those joint conversation things and my god, it's annoying me. I can't bother to test it. Yeah, and they're popping up on my iPod while I'm doing this, but still. So that's why it's wobbling, wobbling like this. I think that's because I'm getting rid of them off screen like that. So that's why. Um. Bex wanted me to tell you that because she is now ill for some reason, she is unable, will be unable to vlog for a little while, so you're just, you're stuck with me. So, <laughs> I haven't done one in a while. Um, I think the last one was with Bex when she was with Hannah. Um, they had a sleepover, so, yeah. Bit bit. Um... Yeah. We went skating today and there's this dude that we saw last week and we dubbed him Gangnam Dude because we had no idea his, of his name, we didn't know who he was, but he was doing Gangnam Style on Ice and oh my god it was so funny. <laughs> so we made friends with him today and his name is Alistair. Alistair. He's cool. Fun to talk to. Been talking to him all afternoon. Um. I thought I'd show you my finished Hellboy picture, as you can see, it's not that good, so like this. There! Stick that in. Stick that there. Uh, and I plan on drawing that one. Because I think it's one minute. I need to draw in two seconds. I'm sorry for all the noises in that one. There. That one. I think that is amazing. And I printed this off, so I'm going to try and draw it. I've no idea who did it, so... I like the gun. The gun's cool. The, the whole picture's amazing. Um, and I kind of want to draw this one as well. Because I just like the whole feel of it and stuff. Yeah. Which, if you've watched the movie, you'll know that that's actually on the front of the DVD, which is here. Yeah. Because I plan on watching the commentary again today. So, uh, because I'm an odd person. In fact, actually, it's, it's infactually. <laughs> that's a new word. I'm going to use that. Infactually. I don't know. It's night time. Infactually, it's night time. Callum, oh hello Callum. There's me, Bex, and like three other people messaging this one thing and I think I have like 30 messages now to catch up on since I've done this vlog. So that's gonna take a while. Uh trying to think if I have anything else to say. Um watched the film One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Oh my god, that film it was amazing. So I cried like a baby at the end. It was so sad. Jack Nicholson. So if you like Jack Nicholson or you just like the sound of the film, go and watch it. Um, it's an amazing movie. Very poignant at the end and stuff. Um, I still need to watch Reservoir Dogs because it has Michael Madsen and he's quite cool. Um, I've watched the clip where he cuts someone's ear off and then sets them on fire, which was a good scene. <laughs> and he's like dancing around. Um, still can't find my earphones. I swear to God, Dylan has stolen them. Not even kidding. He, I swear, he has to have felt God, because I can't find them. My mum was like, clean your room. So I'm like, okay. So I clean my room, they disappear. Nice going, Mom. Thank you. Um... Mm. We now have this too, the special edition of Reservoir Dogs, so I'll be watching that. Which is good. Um, goes on. Mm. I also have this to watch because it has been. Can you read that? I think it, it says the orphanage. It is directed by. Guillermo del Toro, which is the same director that directed Hellboy, so it should be amazing, pretty much. 
because you know Guillermo is just an amazing director. Very good. And I've been researching, and I am led to believe that there is going to be, hopefully, keep your fingers crossed, a Hellboy three. Oh my god. Because for two movies they've left it unfinished. I mean, the first movie he's introduced, he saved the world, obviously, uh, from Rasputin um, and Conan, who was in the comic book. Um, in the second movie, he saves the world again, obviously, from Prince Nuada and uh, Princess Nuada, but she's actually a good person. But um, and then it turns out he's going to be a dad, because him and Liz. Mm. You know what I mean. Um, two baby. So in the third one, if they do it, which I think they are going to, uh, it's going to have to be considerably more darker because he still it's Hellboy. He has to bring around the apocalypse, so that has to be done. But I will be looking forward to see Hellboy's children. I think that would be amazing. They need to do it. sorry, that's another message. They need to uh, do that, definitely. And with Guillermo as the director, you can't go wrong. Especially if it's Ron Perlman again as Hellboy. I mean, you know, you can't just change the act of Hellboy. And Selma Blair, she's amazing. Um, she plays Liz. And then there's Doug Jones, who is the actor for uh, Abe Sapien. Abraham Sapien. Um, Jeffrey Tambor as Manning, well, yeah, um, very mad. Um, there'll probably be, I, I expect, a flashback also from John Hurt, who's amazing. We need to do that. John Hurt's brilliant. If you haven't watched, you need to watch The Elephant Man. Uh, Jake Speed is a great movie. Yeah, his movies. Uh, if you want some movies for, um, Ron Perlman, you can watch Hellboy, Hellboy 2, obviously. Um, the Golden Army, that's number 2. Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Uh, Kronos is amazing. Uh, Alien Resurrection is really good. He plays a bit of a douche, but it's still a great character and he's amazing. He doesn't die in an alien film. My character doesn't die. Yes! That's like a jackpot. Uh, Kronos is brilliant. Alien Resurrection was good. Blade 2, but he dies in that, which is unfortunate. But, um, yeah, I think that's all there is to report. Oh my god, what the hell? There's some weird picture on my laptop now that somebody sent. So I'm going to incarcerate them all. And I shall whip my finger right over the camera. Incarceration is impending. Uh-huh.